Today's episode is brought to you by Studio Form Creative VR. Great company out of New Zealand. Um, I've already purchased the product and tested it out myself, and there is a discount linked in the link below. As you can see, it comfortably sets across your HP Reverb G2, giving you an additional brace uh, desperately needed on your forehead, fitting it very comfortable like a comfortable baseball cap. In addition to that, as you can see in the back, uh, that is the lead weight balance that is uh, formed and pressed into the material so that way it comfortably fits onto the back of your G2, giving you a nice balance to the uh, G2, pulling all that excess weight, because uh, those things are heavy. You know, it sits on your nose for four or five hours and you start to notice. Very nice, fits everybody very well. Uh, I have a very large head, as you can see. There is a 10% discount linked in the link below. And while you're all here, uh, there is an update to OpenXR Tools um, for Windows Mixed Reality. You'll need to go into your Windows Store in order to update it. I wasn't able to find a direct link online, but this is the best way to do it, and it's what you're going to need to do. If you already have it set to automatically update, it's not going to do it. So you need to do this anyway. And the improvement in IL2 uh, is phenomenal. You guys will be very impressed. Now, if you haven't already in, uh, included the OpenXR Toolkit, uh, that is something you will need to look at doing. Uh, the gentleman who is part of the Toolkit uh, side project, he is the main uh, guy working on this, as you can see, uh, for the uh, OpenXR Tools for Windows Mixed Reality. Once you have that updated, uh, you're good to go for anybody using the Windows Mixed Reality Toolkit um, um, that's another one that you'll want to make sure that you watch my video on uh, we'll go in deeper but again you will definitely uh, see improvements there is improvements in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim X I haven't heard anything from DCS yet but if what has happened inside of IL2 is phenomenal now again what I am seeing is with the toolkit running um, in addition to this new update, but the update did a major improvement. I will be making a second video uh, that has to go over my settings in IL-2 that give probably the best possible visuals you can get out of the HP Reverb G2 for the game. Um, look forward to that one on my next video.